They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and I hope you're doing well. Got a couple small housekeeping things here for you. Just wanted to let you know, today I'm doing Dave Allen Religion. Michelle's been asking for this. I've been pretty backlogged. Glad to get it done. Get some Dave Allen. Enjoy the first Dave Allen I did, so this is my second one. I noticed there's a couple of religion ones. I went with the more popular of them. I'll probably do the other religious jokes one down the line. Also, um, you know, I had somebody reach out to me recently and said, hey, man, you should check this guy out. Now, I'm all about supporting other YouTubers and going and checking out people's channels. If you have a YouTube channel, when you comment, let me know. Just say, I have a channel or check me out, Squirrel, or something. So I know you have a channel. I try to look at all of them, but if I'm on my phone or whatever, it's kind of tough. So just let me know if you have a YouTube channel, because I'd love to come over and check out your content. Um, so someone recommended a gentleman named Tom Bailey to me. So Tom Bailey is doing daily vlogs. Uh, he's really decent at editing. He you know, kind of cuts things together really cool, uh, especially when he's cooking. His cooking sequences are amazing. But uh, just doing a vlog and... Um, it's him and his wife, I think his daughter. Um, right now he's doing the uh, March for Prostate Cancer. So he's walking at least 11,000 steps a day. And there's a link in the description of his videos where you can help donate to raise money for prostate cancer awareness and to probably try to find a cure and all that. But uh, Tom Bailey's his name. I'll put a link to his channel probably somewhere above me while I'm chatting right now. And then I'll make sure I stick it on the end card of the video and I'll put it in the description as well. He's a British guy, I believe, and uh, he's got a lovely little family. I really just enjoy his vlog style videos. Uh, I'm glad that uh, a gentleman named Phil turned me on to him. And... Uh, Wanted to pass along that information to you guys so you could check them out too. Don't forget, tell them the squirrel sent you. So here we go today, a little Dave Allen, a little religion, a little, I don't know what the hell I'm stepping into. Here we go. I went to a school uh, in a little village called Ratfarnham in County Dublin. My first day at school, this convent, long winding driveway up to it. One of those gothic doors great studs in it, I rang the bell and opened, and there's one of these nuns, flapping. <laughs> terrifying, terrifying, three and a half, four years of age, terrifying. What do you want, little boy? My mummy, my mummy and daddy said, I've got to come here. Yes? Well, if you come here, you've got to be a good little boy. Will you be a good little boy? And I could see past her. There's a fellow nailed to a cross. <laughs> I thought you're bloody right, I'll be a good little boy. Now, this is a perfect example. I know I point these out a lot, and I'm sorry, but this is a perfect example of great humor. Um, I'm, I'm a religious man. I, um, I take my kids to church. I teach them about God. That's my personal, that's my thing. And I, I, I'm not, everybody's got their own beliefs, really. And, uh, I, you know, more power to everybody to have your own thing. But I wouldn't, you know, like, it's not funny that Jesus is nailed to a cross. But the context of a little kid being told you better behave while you're here than seeing that is that, oh, that in itself is hilarious. <laughs> First question they ask, what do you know about God? I don't know anything about God. Who? God! Who's God? God? You do not know who God is? Sister? Sister, we have an atheist here. <laughs> Let me tell you, little boy. God is, God was, and God always will be. <laughs> what? What he is? What is that? He is a father, he is a son, he is the Holy Ghost. He is three and one. Do you understand? I'm four years of age. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> the greatest theological question in the world. Three people in one. And I'm naturally. Yeah. Where is he? He's here. <laughs> well, I can't see him. That doesn't mean because you can't see him that he's not here. He doesn't. He's in the cupboard. He's not in the cupboard. God doesn't go into cupboards. 
He's under the stairs. He's not under the stairs. He's here with us now. He's upstairs. He's downstairs. He's outside. He's inside. He's everywhere. I think he's a big one. Why can't I see him? <laughs> can't see this guy he's everywhere i don't understand it's great the 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 looking through it's just like when he did the time video i love it that he like he yells a lot but <laughs> but he's that's you know that's to prove that's to really emphasize but that i think it's great that he can look through like he he finds the comedy by looking through the eyes of a child that's brilliant. I'm asked, do you love him? What? Do you love him? I don't know. I've never seen him. <laughs> God loves you. Thank you. And he wants your love. Thank you. But if you do not give him your love, he will cast you into everlasting flame. <laughs> he will cast you into everlasting flame. Have you ever burnt yourself? I didn't you know, I burnt myself on, on the candle. What was it like? Oh, I'm very sad. sore. Can you imagine that pain all over your body? That's what will happen to you if you do not love God. What do you think of that? I love him. I, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> then I, was, I asked, who was the fellow on the cross? Jesus. Who's Jesus? He's the son of God. I've told you. Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. He's the Son of God. <laughs> he was born on Christmas Day and died on Easter. I didn't think he didn't hang around, did he? <laughs> oh, man. What happened to him? He died because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Christ died on the cross because of your sins. When, when was this? It was 2,000 years ago. They can't blame me. I'm only four for Christ. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Did he have a daddy? Of course he had a daddy. I've told you he had a daddy. God was his daddy. Did he have a mummy? Yes, he had a mummy. Mary was his mummy. So God was married to Mary. No, God was not married to Mary. Mary was married to Joseph. <laughs> Never think of it this way. Between my parents and the church, the brains are scrambled. <clears throat> I learned to bless myself. The first time I learned to bless myself was sadly when my uncle died. And he was being buried in a kind of remote part of the Dublin Mountains. And it was a real funereal day. The wind was whipping down, the rain. And I'm only this big, and I'm kind of wandering around between these legs and this black crowd and umbrellas and dripping rain, and this bloody hole in the ground. And, oh, Christ, I didn't know what it was all about. And I'm watching the coffin being lowered into the ground, and I hear the priest say, what I think, in the name of the Father and of the Son and into the hole he goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I blessed myself for years. <laughs> the Father, Son, and into the Holy Ghost. What did you say? Name of the Father, Son, and into the, into the Holy Ghost. He goes into the Holy Ghost. He didn't go into the hole. I was there. I saw him. He went into the hole. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hilarious points there when you talked about Mary being Jesus' mother and being <laughs> married to Joseph. Oh, man. Dave Allen, wow, what a what a, what a what a cool, funny guy this guy was, I'll tell you. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you take off so you can come back for more great reactions. To the rest of the Squirrel Squad, I appreciate you as always being here and hanging out. And until next time, Squirrel out!